Hello everybody and today I'm going to teach you how to make a very low poly um, rifle or any gun you want. So um, what I'm going to do is try, go to the options if you want. You don't have to but it's best of course. So 1920 by 1080. I don't know. Now let's do my screen resolution. There you go. Uh, I'm going to put this to 300, so in case I render it, it's going to look pretty crisp. So, uh, to start off, what you want to do is you want to press F2. It's going to go to the side view. Uh, once that is done, you want to go to Options, and then you want to press Configure. So, just to say, I'm using uh, Cinema 40 Art 13. You can see it on... Oh, no, you can't. Yeah, I'm using Art 13, uh, the version. Uh, so, but, like... R14 and R15 there shouldn't be a big difference uh, from the software so what you want to do is when you, you want to go to back and go to image and then you want to go to your file oops my bad and now you want to find your side view of your gun so in, the, in my case I'm going to be using a SVT it's a Russian rifle uh, it's, no, it's not a sniper rifle, it's just a rifle. So, to start off, you want to place down a cube. You want to you wanna just take it and size it up to the cross. I think it's called a cross. It should be a cross. Um, I don't know. Uh, so, you just want to match the size up a bit. So, like that. A bit. Scale it down. All right. So what I'm gonna do right now, you wanna add some segments. So X segments, you wanna put like seven. Segments Y, you wanna put five. Doesn't really matter because now, you, trust me, you don't see any segments here, but when you press F1, you can see the segments. And if you want, you can resize this already. That's, I'm not gonna do that yet. I always do that at the end once I finish the part. So yeah. Uh, what you wanna gonna do is you wanna delete the fong, the, the fong tag, yeah. Oops. Once that's done, you wanna press C. You're gonna start seeing the segments. That's good. Then you wanna go to uh, point mode, and you wanna get rectangle selection. It's right up here. Uh, and then what you can do right now, if you don't know what rectangle and point mode, rectangle selection of point mode is, point mode is basically, it's not really polygon editing, but how can I explain this? It's not polygon editing, but it's like, um, you can select these points and you can like shape them. Yeah, doesn't really make sense, but I guess I, I forgot something. You wanna use uh you, you go to I just gotta find this tool thingy. I can't remember what it is. So what it does if you select one segment it's gonna select only one. So I think it's this one. Yeah, it is. There you go. So you just want to go to options and only select visible elements. You want to like not activate. It. You want to just deactivate it. So once that is done, you you're basically gonna start shaping a gun. So yeah, let's get straight into the gun shaping. So what you do is you select a segment, a point, sorry, and you start modeling it. Don't worry if it gets like curvy, like like, oops. If it goes like this, it's low poly. It's totally fine. Don't put it like this, obviously. Just like go like this, and then second one, go like that. So, so in my case here, there's no segment over here, but you want to be modeling segments over here. You want to be moving the points so it makes a curve. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click, press knife, and uh, it should be where is it? You want to go to mode, you want to put loop, there you go, and uh, I think, no, nah, that doesn't matter. Uh, 
yep there we go so what you're gonna do is you're gonna start cutting here you're gonna wanna cut these so you can make the curve there you go once that is done you wanna go back to your rectangle selection tool and then you're gonna start shaping the curve again it's low poly it doesn't have to be high detailed that that's that's totally fine if it's not doesn't matter so here's the second curve so I want to start actually curving the points so modeling is very simple people like at first I thought it was pretty hard but it's actually not so if I go back to use model mode and press F1 as you can see it looks like shit like this but if you go like this it actually looks like a gun stock, yeah, a stock. I was trying to find it. I'm trying to find a name. There you go. So that's my Skype. That's not yours. So what you're gonna do is you wanna go to. Okay, so you wanna select your size tool and you wanna just scale it down until it looks like a sniper stock or a rifle, whatever you want. I'm actually just gonna disconnect Skype real quick because this guy is starting to annoy me. There you go. Alrighty, so press F2 again, and now we're gonna make the um, the barrel part. So let's do this. So you wanna, um, I was gonna say spawn. Yeah, right. You wanna get a cube again, and then you're gonna wanna resize it until it's like kind of the right size. This should be it, and now you're just gonna want to make it longer. So if I place it down, down there, uh, a bit more. There you go. This should do it. Again, it's gonna look way oversized and ugly, but that's gonna be taken care of in later on. So you wanna put some segments on this cube. There you go. And you wanna delete the fong tag. You wanna press C and you go to point mode, uh rectangle selection, and you're gonna start modeling again. It's very, very simple. So again here, I wanna make a cut so I can actually um uh make a point or segment so it can add a segment. So you just right click knife you just knife it out here, just one, it's fine. Now go back to my point mode, I was already in there, and rectangle selection. So now, see, as you can see, I can make proper curves right now. That's So that's cool. So actually, I'm going to make a second curve, I mean, segment over here. So I should be able to move it up if I'm right. Yes. Alright, that's straight. So now you could, as you can see, the gun starts curving out here, curving up. So you want to select the points, curve up. As I said, you can use pretty much any gun you want, uh, like from a pistol to a rocket launcher. Just it doesn't matter. Just depends on your skills or the time you have to spend on modeling. So once that is done, we're gonna make the barrel slash the cannon. So you want to spawn another cube. Ah, see, I, I knew I was going to say spawn. <laughs> you want to get a cube. And you're going to move it. And make it kind of the size of a cannon slash barrel. So let's move it up. So the cube stops over there. So let's say this is going to be our cannon. Let's make it a bit longer. There we go. Should make it a little bit thicker. No, actually, it's fine. So I'm gonna copy paste this cube, move it a bit down, resize. Oops, resize like make it smaller by a lot. And there you go. It's like take another cube. I'm actually gonna copy this one. I'm not gonna be bothered to actually get another cube. There we go. So that's like the iron sight, if you call it, if you want to call it like that. As you can see, it looks pretty weird right now, but that's totally fine. Like I said, and I forgot to delete the font tags. You can still do that though. So I'm gonna select everything, press C, make them editable. Once that is done, resize to want to scale it 
oops, I forgot to select that. I want to scale it down by a lot, so it actually is a bit bigger than the stock, or actually, what am I saying? So it f kind of fits in the stock, kind of a bit smaller than the stock, thinner, thinner sorry, in the stock. This should do it, if I am right. Like, it's totally up to you. Like, as you can see, it's kind of clipping here, but it's totally fine. It kind of makes it look like it's holding the barrel and stuff. So, I guess this is low poly, so that's totally fine if it looks like shit. Well, to be honest, low poly doesn't look like shit. Low poly is amazing. It's like the, the most amazing model, the way of modeling you could ever do, at least. That's what I think, so yeah. Let's make this a bit thicker and longer. So if I go back to press F1, gonna wanna re oops, the view's kind of weird here. I wanna scale this down. Actually, so I didn't make an editable, so I can just move it around and scale it whenever the fuck I want. I'm actually gonna make it thinner. There you go. As you can see, it's starting to take form. It's starting to take form. I'm just going to make this one a bit thinner as well. And thinner from this side, too. Because it's too long for an iron side. Yeah, as you see, as you can see, it's kind of it's a bit too long. I mean, there you go. Looks better now. And I'm going to resize it like this as well because it looks pretty long. There we go. So there you go you made your gun and I think I might add something else I might add the mag yes I'm actually gonna do the magazine so take a cube just same process all over again resize boom I'm gonna edit this one though I'm gonna make it curved just so you can see what it's what it looks like so there you go. Uh, you want to um, delete this font tag and actually make it editable. You want to add seven and five always. Well, that's what I do. It's enough for me to actually work with it. So I'm fine with that. So take this, curve it. So I'm just curving the bottom right here. There you go. It should look like a proper magazine after this modeling part. That should do it. Uh, let's check. So obviously it's way too oversized. That's totally normal. Uh, oh yeah, sorry, I mean, there you go. So resize this thing, magazine. Always make it thinner than the whole gun. Otherwise, it's not going to blend in. And I'm... Actually, no, it's good. So now, if you want to start coloring your gun, obviously. I'm just, just, just going to do the coloring part real quick. You don't have to take any special effects, only if you want to be, like, very serious and stuff. So I'm just... I don't really... I'm not so good at choosing colors. So this should do it. Put this on the stock, I guess it's called. So now I press F2, see what's the rest of the colors, so everything is in, okay, this, so the mag is gonna, wait, what's the mag, okay, a bit darker, oops, ah, keep pressing next to it, okay, whatever, so, copy paste this material, make it a bit darker, Put it on the cannon. I think it's actually called a cannon. There you go. Well, you've got your low poly gun. I think it looks pretty cool. I missed modeled something right there. There's a bit too big of a curve. That's probably because I misplaced the. Uh, I can fix that, don't worry. See? Fixed. Boom. Gotta do a bit more precise. Oops. C 
see what I can do to fix. Oh, almost. Well, this is, you're not going to have the exact same gun because obviously you're going to be making your own. But now if you want to, you can just select, shift, select everything. Just take your rotation tool, rotate it to 90 degrees to have it straight. If you don't know your degrees system, go learn the degrees. Hold shift to make them snap so it's way easier. So as you can see, totally straight. 90 degrees obviously is the straightest you could get. Go to school if you don't know that. So now you can obviously move it up, move it sidewards. I recommend keeping it in the middle because it's the um, center of, not of your gun, but it's the center of the software of 10 or 40. So. so yeah, this is it. And I hope you enjoyed. Uh, so thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Peace.